Hello and welcome back to another episode of Exploring the Alphabet. It is the second episode, which means we are on letter B. And guess what? We are in Birmingham! That's disappointing. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. We're not. We're not actually staying in Birmingham. We're just flying from Birmingham. It's a complete coincidence that um, it's an airport beginning with B. And uh, before anyone starts, that's no disrespect to anyone from Birmingham. Although I don't think that I could actually endure the Birmingham accent for a couple of days. So I don't know why I said no disrespect and then disrespected. Yeah. So sorry about that. But yeah, we've just pulled up at the car park. My travel essential is always a can of Red Bull. Now, I don't know why I do it to myself because it runs through you like no tomorrow. And I've got to the point now where my bladder's going to bust. So I'm going to put it back down and I'm going to go and find a urinal while you can have a little guess on where we are heading next. I'm just in my bus stop now. I've got my own personal bus stop. And look up here, we've only got some heaters. So it's absolutely perfect. And to be honest, I'm nice and relaxed just waiting for my bus. And there's no one in sight. And I think I'm going to get the bus to myself, which is always a bonus. Anyway, then a, then a man rocks up. Uh, he, he ain't coming here. He must not want to socialise with me. Fair enough. But then I spot him outside. He's raking his conk, raking his conk. I mean, we've all done it, so we're not we're not judging him, but you do it in private at least, don't you? I had a good rake of mine on the way down here. But yeah, he's, he's raking it out there, and if that wasn't enough, then the only reason I've pulled my camera out to document this bit is because he's just done a massive... And just banged it on the floor, on the forecourt. I mean, the bus is going to pull up out there in a minute, go straight over his greenie. Eh? And what's he going to do for the 15 minutes when we're on the bus? Is he going to be knocking them greenies out on the uh, on the, on the aisle? I bloody hope not, because I'll be throwing up. Well, it's a good job I've not ate anything yet. So we'll probably have a bit of a feed in the airport. It's a good job I ain't got a belly full in it, because it'll all be coming out next to fuzzle guts over there. <laughs> Before I feed myself like a greedy pig, I'll take you to the magic screen that uh, reveals all. So here is our screen. You're looking for B, and I think you might have found it already. That is right, we're going to Barcelona, Spain, baby. There she is, another Ryanair, always catching them luxury flights. Right, I'm bringing you some Mal High diaries. I'm crouched down because it seems quiet when you're on your knees. Um, but when I got to my seat, there was a man sat near the window and a woman sat on the arm, so the middle seat was my hand. No one likes the middle seat. Anyway, I said to her, like, when I get there, oh, you two together. And before she, get, uh, before she gives me a chance to even finish, she goes, yes, I'll sit. Yeah, yes, I'll sit. As soon as you come out the airport, we're seeing palm trees. So it actually feels like an holiday, this. <laughs> right, how can I get to me uh, to me place then? Hello. I'm becoming a bit of a professional tourist because when I went to get my money changed at Ramsden's, they offered me a currency card. 
So now with my Skyrocket, I've got a currency card. Wherever I go, all I do is transfer the money from my account onto the Ramsden app. And then I've got I've got load of cash to spend. Well, not not load of cash, however much I put on, which won't be much because I'm on budget here, yeah? which is why I'm trying to get a cheap taxi. Anyone? Anyone there? After loitering around outside the airport for about 20 minutes, I've actually uh, got an Uber and Sakinda is coming to pick me up in his Toyota Yaris. So I'm just looking out for him. The only problem is it's one of these black ones <laughs> and uh, it's like fan playing for where's Wally. It's not very warm, is it? Oh, yeah. Then again, it is winter. Are you being busy? Sorry? Busy? Yes. Lots of lots of people? Yes, yes. Me too. I'm a taxi driver too. Me me taxi in England. Ah, England. Yeah, taxi. Yes. Been doing it for 20 years. Tough crowd. So we've been dropped off at where we're uh, living and to be honest with you like graffiti when you're at home it don't bother you in the slightest but when you're in a foreign country and you don't have a clue where you are or where you're staying because I'm staying about to stay in a stranger's house just graffiti terrifies me now this is the building I'm staying in 136 so here we are 136 and I'm staying somewhere up there so before I um, go into it I'm going to have a little wander around just see if I can get in a little supermarket have a little nibble and um, then I'll go and meet Florencia okay I am a very a very big fan of this of this one I found a good accommodation so the outside looks a bit sketchy when you walk in it's like walking through a corridor of a horror movie. It's real old-fashioned and weird. But then you get into this lady's house and the house is stunning. It's like a thin corridor, but all the corridors have little rooms and bedrooms off. And then there's like a living room, a tiny living room, dining room with a kitchen at the back with a serving hatch. And it just looks real, it's just real nice and homely and modern. I love it. So, so I'm in my bedroom now. And... I'll give you a little show around of the room. There is one thing that just before I started filming caught my eye and kind of made my heart sink a bit because it looks a bit creepy and weird. Don't really get what it is, but I'll show you that after I've shown you the gorgeous room. So you're walking through this little door, step down the step, and this is my room. I've got my own little desk. I've got wardrobes here. Only a mini school bed, and it's quite low down, but we can work with that. And then some more cupboards, so it's small. I've got a little window here to have a little say hello out of. Hello! And the thing that I like the most is the ceiling, until I spotted something. So the ceiling looks really like, looks quite cool. Unless it comes crashing down, I can hear a baby crying up there as well. But then I was thinking, there's the lights here. But what's this suspicious rope hanging here? Oh, that gave me the chills a bit. Oh, there's a polar bear living here as well. How many animals does she have? No, I ain't gonna start tantalizing. Now, I don't know if I'm thinking into all this too much because I, originally I let, I let the rope go. I let that go. But I've just realized there's absolutely tons of handprints on this brick wall up here. Tons. Have people been trying to get out? Will, will my handprints be up there next? <laughs> I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. Anyway, what action am I going to take on all my worries? Nothing. I'm just going to get myself sorted for tomorrow, go to sleep and hope that I wake up in one piece. One thing I've not done before is give you a little uh, 
rucksack so because all I come away with is my rucksack so I always have one spare one different pair of footwear just because There's only one croc in there. I mean, I definitely packed them both. I think. I brought one croc. We can't worry about the one croc situation at least i've got a pair on my feet i've got these white vans so luckily white vans go with literally everything so tomorrow's outfit a new jumper i've never worn that's the back of it so we're gonna wear that with either the jeans that i've got on now or some black shorts hopefully it's hot enough to wear the shorts Although I'm stuffed now because I was going to wear my Crocs with it because they'd be comfy to walk in. No socks, they go with the outfit and now I'm going to have to wear these white things that don't go and they're already rubbing on me so that's fantastic. And then the only other things, outfit I have, is the outfit for the next day. Just some Nike trackies, that's to come back in. A black oversized t-shirt. And then the problem is, I'm go they they was chosen to go with the Crocs. I'm gonna have to wear these high tops with a nightmare. Then obviously, I don't think you need to see my pants, but the we've got the Calvin Clowns, a few pairs of socks, all my chargers. The only toiletries I bring are a toothbrush, toothpaste, and some moisturizer. Because I always, when I get in the showers, I think surely in their bathroom I can pinch a bit of soap. This is really really comfy, like super comfy. I'm going to be honest, I don't really talk about stuff like this, but I do kind of need a number two. But the owner, or the couple, Olivia, were, were in the next room. And if I could understand Spanish, I'd be able to hear every single word they were saying. Now, obviously, didn't feel comfortable enough to drop a number two. Uh, and I think it is a bit disrespectful, do you know what I mean? I only walked through the door about half an hour ago. It's not not really right that I just go unload on a bog. So I'm just going to wait till the morning and I'll do the old trick that we all, we all used to do when we used to first start seeing someone where you used to start the shower early, pretending you're in the shower when really you're on the bog. Don't know why I felt the need to share that with you. I'm sure you really enjoyed that, but um, that is the last part of uh the day <sighs> oh the light good night i've just woken up and got my shower and i've stepped outside and i've just realized that the little building i'm in isn't even part of the house so watch this that's where the main house is through that door i just thought it was like a living room door but then as you look up we're like outdoors it's absolutely boiling. The morning has got that smell of, uh, you know, when you go on holiday and it's just nice abroad weather. That's what it. That's what it smells of. It smells beautiful. And we're just heading down to our first activity of the day. And I'm going to be doing something I've never done, but I've always wanted to do. So I'm really excited. Gracias, amigo. Listen, señor. There's a man up here. He's painting. The, he's pr painting his bricks the same colour as what they actually are, so he, he must not have much on today, this guy. Someone told me, always say what's on your mind, and I am only being honest with you, I, I get lonely and make mistakes from time to time, say my name, call you, and he happy, yeah. That's the Ed Sheeran song, Barcelona. Don't know if the words was right, but highly doubt it, because I was singing the song. I'm hiking all day, and here's all my teammates. They're all warming up for their hike. I did my warm up a bit earlier on today. The instructor's in red there. 
I had a video call with her, but I said to her, look, listen, love, I don't need them stick things. I'm all right on my plates of meat. I've seen so many buildings already just by chance. We haven't even seen the buildings that I'm going to take you to because there is some that are just look mind blowing. But that's just me being a geek. Check this out. Got my godmother's face. <laughs> Hello. That's my mate. Just here. I think that's an opera place in there. I think that's where Vincent van Gogh uh, does his singing on a night. Risandiamo tornati, ma te che niente si la vi ho. Yo, know where we're going, got nowhere you know we're walking on the road to nowhere. Sponging for a living, checking out the women, walking on the road to nowhere. And we will take shit from anyone. If someone robs your phone, then you've got to run. So we're at a place called Park Mon... So we're at a place called Park Mont Jewett. I'm not gonna lie to you, it smells of uh, it smells of dirty washing. It doesn't smell fantastic. But what is fantastic is what we're about to be doing. Because if you look above me, we're going on the... Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> They're still not there. Where, where do they keep going? We're, go we're going on the cable cars. Can you still not see them? There's one right here, look. Here we go. We're going on the cable cars. Now, the only problem is they're coming from right over that way. And I have no idea how you get to that point because they obviously start from up in the air and I'm down here. Oh, I think I figured it out. My man's just told me it's over here. <laughs> The boys in there working out. I don't have the, en have the energy for that. Right, then again, they haven't done them steps that I've just done. Oh, I can see water over there, beach over there. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day. How do I get in? So that is it. I scanned my barcode. There's my thing. I guess you just step in it while, while it's running. And now we're in our cable cart. <laughs> Are they called cable cars or cable carts? I've been calling him a bit of both. Yeah, that's it, the doors are closed. It looks like we're ready to rumble. I, I was really excited for this, thinking like, I don't know, I was seeing it more of like a roller coaster, but they do move really, really slow, don't they? I'll tell you what else Carrie would love, love a bit of. If you look into the distance there, there's a ginormous bullet. <laughs> Good job she's not with me because she would be trying to uh, chisel that down and take it home, stick it in that box under the bed. Oh, oh, we've gone over the edge now. Look, we're going over, we're going over the edge. Don't look that high, but I promise it is. They pick up the pace when they come off the edge. It's a beautiful day and I can stop myself. Whoa, look at this. It's such a big place. This is a, a tiny bit different to Letter A where we, we explored in there. In Letter A, I'm sure there was a quarter of a million people that lived there. Whereas in Barcelona, I've done my research, there's over half a million. No, sorry, over 1.5 million. Oh, whoa, all right, all right. Not the safest landing. Hello. Everyone wave, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is a lovely place to live and you must be pretty blessed to live here. But as a parent, the one thing that would really piss me off would be all the parks. Do you know, like all the kids' parks are on sand. So... Imagine, you, imagine having to go to the park. You go to the park with your kids quite a lot, don't you? It's one of the best things to kill Sam. And then you go... Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Sorry about that. Um, and then you have to do the old thing where sand's all stuck to them and it's in their air for days and stuff. Now that'd, that'd get on me tits. I tell you what, I've missed a right trick. I'm on my way down to the beach. We're not gonna lay there for hours or anything. Don't worry about that. We're just gonna have a, have a little look, rub me vans through the sand and all that. But I'm looking up in the sky and I see some other cable cars. Apart from these cable cars, look a trillion times better. We've got a million miles up in the sky. So, I don't even know if you can see it from here, but I'm going to give you a zoom. So this is where I am. That tower there, the cable cars run that high and go right down the lands. And then there's me on my little poxy thing. So I've, defi I've definitely missed the trick, but never mind, because we're on the way to the beach. After seeing all these boats, we've got a new thing that we're going to do. That I aren't leaving Barcelona until I have been on a boat. And look how many there is out here. There's tons. So one of them will let me on. There's a lot of guys having a game of bo uh, volleyball. <laughs> having a game of volleyball over here. All playing with their heads though. I don't know if they know they're allowed to with their hands. But yeah, here's, here's the beach. Watch the boys, watch the boys. We found somewhere where we can sit and eat on the beachfront. This is gonna be that, that little shack here, that's gonna be our hot spot. I'm gonna take my shoes off as well because I can't be doing with this sand. Woo! Oh, it's hot. There was loads of tapas dishes. Now, tapas means small plates, doesn't it? But all the small plates was like, um, 15, 15 pound each, 15 euros each. So I was thinking, well, I'd love a load of mini plates, but it cost me a arm and a leg. Um, so I just went for the chicken wings. So hopefully, when this plate of chicken wings comes, being just like four chicken wings on a plate, because I'll still be ravenous. Mm. Yeah, they're worth it. Definitely worth it. It's an hard life. My man's even got his guitar out for me now. Here it comes. Oh, it's kicking off. Oh, it's got it yes. in now. Here we go. Oh, I've never ate I've, oh, it's, wow. I've never ate chicken wings in the sound of the music before. Bambolea. Well, that was a lovely experience. Well, until the end when I was fleeced. So my man, who was providing the entert free entertainment, I thought it was part of part of the meal kind of thing. As soon as he's finished his his little um, medley of sing songs, he comes round with his with his uh, little purse. He's got a little purse out in his pocket. And he, he comes round with that purse, but undoes the zip, opens it up and goes to all the tables. Now everyone said no, but because he'd come to me, um, and and you know, it was it was good it was good for the vlog. So I thought, hey, I'll give him a euro. I knew I had one somewhere in my bag, so I'm digging around in my bag to find this euro. 
can't find it anywhere. He stood there waiting because he knows he's getting some coin. He's saying, amigo, amigo, my amigo. So he's basically saying, oh, thank you, before I've even given him anything. So I didn't have a choice at that point. And I didn't have the backbone to turn around and say, oh, actually, I can't find my euro. So I had to give him a five euro. A five euro note. That's a big divot into my budget trip, I'll have you know, Mr. Bastard. Literally no idea what that is, just uh, filming it because it looked colourful. What's that up there? Looks like a giant lobster. Look at this place, you wouldn't want to go down here on a dark night, would you? Look at this. How small that is. Imagine walking down there in the middle of the night. <laughs> This street I'm down now is called La Rambla. La 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 Rambla. And apparently it's the most famous street in Barcelona. I'm not entirely sure why, because it just looks like all the other streets that have uh, little food places that you walk down. But apparently it is the, fa the, the most famous. And I was watching a video before I came here and it said avoid this street at all costs because it is very, very dangerous. But to be honest, I'm feeling like Billy Big Bollocks. I'm going straight into the centre of it. And I have no idea why it's dangerous. Look, nothing dangerous about this place. Then again, people are probably looking at me thinking, I'm not going to approach that guy. I won't approach that big bastard. But yeah, this is this is La Rambla. It's a bit like, oh, it smells of fish at this point. It's just a bit like a little, mar a little market street. Nothing massively special. But we are on our way to show you something extra special because we've found a boat and we're going on a boat trip, baby. Well, it turns out that I'm not the biggest bastard on La Rambla because we've got this big guy here. Don't know what he's meant to be. I think he's just he's enhanced a few leaves. He's got a few leaves off the uh, local park. He's enhanced them and stuck them to his back. Look, they've just come off the the tree in autumn. I'm going to approach somebody else here. I'm going to approach somebody. I don't know what he does. What does this guy do? Hello. Dancing money. Dancing money. Thank you. Hey, happy days. He said on his box, dancing money, he stuck a bit of coin in his tin and he starts whistling. Magic. <laughs> the world's gone mad. At first he said, water. I didn't have any water, I just had the, the uh, two euro coin. I'm, I'm having the time of my life here. I'm just giving away cash for, for entertainment. It's fantastic. Anyone, in, any, anyone else want any money? Oh, look, there's a wax, a wax man here. A wax man. You're a good singer. You want to sing? Sure. Yeah? Okay. What is this? Uh, it's just for YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah? Um, hi. What's your name? Oh, my name's Lola. 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 Hello, I'm, I'm Joel. 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 This, Joel. Goes, this goes on YouTube on BBC in England. BBC? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I do love England. Yeah, well, we're doing no. a documentary at the moment for about, about Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to sing? Sure. I heard you singing when I walked on sure. by. So. I was singing the Beatles, actually. Yeah, go, go for it. Right? Take it away. That's okay, fantastic. That, yeah. Um, okay, but I'm going for the, for the other one. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah. I am he as you are, he as you are, me and we are all together. Oh, I like it. See how they flow like pigs from a gun, see how they run. <laughs> I'm crying. Crying. I'm sitting in a cornflake. <laughs> Waiting for the van to come. Yeah. Love I it. Like that. I love, love that it. Move. Hey, nice to meet you. It's the bouncing move. All, all the best. Okay, take care of my city. See you on the BBC. It's on the park. It's on the toilet. Adios. Be nice. Nice. Anyone else? No? I've just checked in for my boat. 
So in 50 minutes time, behind this little place where I've checked in, there's going to be a giant yellow boat, apparently. She said it's one of the best in Barcelona. It's called... Um, I'll get back to you on that one. It's not on the ticket. It's called Cata something. Let's just call it Cata Maraca. We're going on the big Cata Maraca. But until then, we're going to go see if we can get an ice cream just to come in at a time. Ice cream, you scream. Everyone scream for ice cream. Woo! Got a caramel and a vanilla. Little scoopy doo. And I'm going to sit with my legs dangling off this little pier here. But in, there's, there's fish in there and the fish are going on. Let me show you. They're like jacks. Happy days. Let's hope one of them don't grab me foot. There we have it. Our boat has pulled up. So we're going to be jumping on that bad boy soon. There's a little roof terrace. I think she might have been fibbing a tiny bit when she said it's the best in Barcelona because I've seen a yacht up there. Oh, there's loads of yachts up there anyway. Lamborghini yachts and stuff like that. So I am getting on the budget version. But never mind, we're still going to have a good time. Apparently there's live music on there, but that was probably a fib as well. But yeah, I'm going to try and get on the top. Let the... Uh, Wind blow through me air, then again, probably not, it'll blow off. I am looking forward to this. Looks like them people over there missed the boat. Who knows, suckers? Can someone on the boat give me a ahoy? I think that must be the live entertainment. There's a slight bit of music that's coming out of that speaker. I was expecting Adele or something stood on here. But never mind. You win some, you lose some. I think I'm still winning. a bit choppy now. It's more like a fairground. It's more like a fairground like this. Look at it go. <laughs> we managed to make it off in one piece. Just about. By the end of the cruise, Everyone on top deck was bobbing off asleep. The water settled down. Everyone was falling to sleep. Um, but the, the, there was all falling to sleep on the partner's laps. And uh, my Gary's not here, so now, now I'm missing her a bit. Just come across this giant building, or, or whatever it is. And basically, it's singing. How clever is that? A tower that has music coming out of it. It's so loud as well. It sounds like a real person. Oh my god, it is someone. It is a real person. I thought it was a, I thought it was a woman singing as well. It's a mister. It's a mister. He's just finishing off though, so we'll let him hit that last note. I don't want to be uh, bothering him. Plus he'll start, get, he'll start asking for coin. We are 30 minutes walk away from probably one of the spe most spectacular things you'll ever see. What, they're all doing like a pose, these guys. What are they all doing? Oh, look at this woman in the pink. She's doing a pose there. But I've seen loads of people do it. Just one hand in the air. Apparently if you just put, you put one hand in the air with this tower what they're all doing we're finally here so what i'm about to show you is i already knew this before i was coming this is the largest unfinished church in the world and i'm going to give you a little a little sneak peek from a distance now but check that place out looks like something of harry potter doesn't it you're a wizard I'm not a wizard Hagrid, I'm just Harry. 
carry her, absolutely love it. She'd be, she'd be flying around here on a broom, shouting Expelliarmus. But I'm going to get a bit closer and give you a better look as well. I'm not normally like phased by buildings, but there's something eerie about this. It feels good. It's just impressive. Apparently it's been getting built for over 100 years. Now what I can't work out is how, when it's been getting built for that long, is it so clean? Even right at the top of them towers, it's spotless. Unless someone goes wrong with a jet wash every now and again. Uh, and it's gonna, it's gonna be finished, or they're aiming to have it finished in 2020, oh, 2030 something. But if they've took 100 years to get it to that stage, I want all my breath on a bit of a delay. But there you have it, it's called uh, Sagada Familia, or something, something along those lines. This is just one of the beautiful uh, buildings in Barcelona. There's a couple more that we're gonna go see a bit later on. The architect man was called Antoni Gaudi. I see his name on all these buildings, but I think he's, I think he's dead and gone now. But he's apparent, apparently a famous architect. Here and he was the one who created all this. He must have had the kind of brain cells that I've got going on in here. Yeah. Alrighty then. Anthony Gaudi, I think his name is, has not only created that building, but created loads more around Barcelona. And there is one that is really close called Casa Batlo. I've just took a seat on the way because my head's pounding. So I stopped off at a pharmacy to get some paracetamol. Don't worry though, because my head pounding is a everyday thing, to be honest with you. Um, I did get seen by opticians and was apparently getting some glasses, but then I think I've been struck off the list because I haven't heard anything since. But the reason I'm making the video is not so I can show you what the paracetamols are like in um, Barcelona, because they look exactly the same. The price, however, completely different. Five euros for a box of paracetamol. I said to the woman in there, bloody hell, I'll need some, uh, I'll, I'll need some heart, heart attack medication soon if you fucking tell me that's the price. So I'm, I'm planning on just, I'm, I'm going to suck it instead just to get my money's worth. And if you look into the distance, there is Casa Batlo just there. Now I don't think it does it justice from far away. I don't know, just my mates. We're gonna go up close and personal and have a look at it. But it's all beautiful and multicolored. I've realized how much I use the word beautiful on this vlog, so I, I do apologize for that. But it's all multicolored with loads of like flashing lights. This this Gaudi bloke, and I've created some uh, strange buildings. He must have had an imagination, an imagination on him, but, but yeah, I'm gonna show you it properly now. I can see his name up in lights actually, so at least even though that's that's what a good thing is about life. If you spend your time wisely, in hundred years time, people will still be talking to you and you won't just be dead and gone. So that's my aim in life. Don't know if I'm gonna accomplish it. <laughs> Imagine at night time it's beautiful. Oh, not beautiful again. I imagine at night time it's spectacular because each floor, if you look closely enough, has little lanterns that are like sparkling. It reminds me of like a giant Christmas gingerbread house. But but it's not it's not made out of gingerbread because he built it hundreds of years ago. And if that was the case, someone had vet it by then. And if they hadn't, I'd be eating it today because I love gingerbread. Do we love gin do we love gingerbread? Uh, 
evidently not. The Barcelona sky is turning pink and slowly getting darker, which means we're coming to the end of our day of tourism. I'm absolutely vibrating because my six chicken wings seem to have uh, run the course. So I need to go get some food for energy. Look at this place that I've just come across, just by fluke. But yeah, I'm craving pizza. So I'm gonna go get a pizza. By the time I've ate the pizza, it's gonna be dicky dark. But luckily I don't fly till 8 p.m. tomorrow, meaning we've got half a day to tick off the last things on our Barcelona bucket list. So please come back in the morning because there's plenty more to see. Rise and shine, it is back to England day and we're just about to leave our accommodation. Although we had a few scares at the beginning, it was an absolute gorgeous day. The shower was piping hot. The, the um, host was really, really calm. She, she was just so easy to speak to. And yeah, it was just, this This has been my favorite accommodation so far. I know that we've only had two, but um, I think it's gonna take some beat, beating. It's just been really nice and private. Anyway, we're gonna head out now. We've left the room beautiful and tidy because we've got some good manners. And we're gonna go get a bite to eat before we get on our way. There's um, something really special that I just can't leave Barcelona without seeing. And you wouldn't think that I was staying at a nice accommodation when you have to walk through this little corridor first, would you? Because I was pretty frightened when I first pulled up and I did that walk through that corridor. <laughs> If you've not worked it out yet, we've come to the Spotify Camp Nou, which is the home of Barcelona, one of the biggest football clubs in the world. Let's be real, the home of football is in England, but when I do think of Barcelona, the first thing I think of is football. My first ever like memory of Barcelona is I remember we went on holiday to I don't know if it was Salou or somewhere as a kid and my mum got me some bass no my dad bought me some art Barcelona armbands and I remember my mum saying you can't get him there he's not Spanish blah 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 but my dad went with it got me the armbands and I, I still remember him to this day that goes to show that even when you're really young you remember like little snippets like that so it does matter what goes on in your childhood so much stuff going on around here which doesn't surprise me there's a big museum there's a barcelona store um and so much so much more going on one of the one of hola one of the things that i like the most about spain is how many kids you see on the streets just playing football because when I was when I was brought up that's what we used to do in England we'd be down the 10 foot knocking around the football and you don't see it as much anymore kids don't seem to do it I don't know if it's because England's dangerous or whatever but apparently Barcelona's dangerous and every other street you see kids with the shoes off just knocking around the football I think it's I think it's a beautiful thing to see. That that stuff like that should never die. Behind me is the stadium, the Camp Nou. Are you sure about that? And we're gonna say I have done a big lap all the way around it to see if I can get a good view of it. But I don't think they'll let you too too close, but we'll do our best. Apparently that was the largest Barcelona store in the world. And 
you can you can tell to be honest with you they've gone through some effort at that place know something funny <laughs> so the when I was outside the store and I was videoing the Camp Nou I think I'm sure I was videoing this building which isn't the Camp Nou I was thinking at the time it didn't look that big and now I've just spotted something ahead of me which I didn't spot a bit earlier on which I think might be the Camp Nou but to me it looks like it's somewhere that's getting knocked down it's not as a uh, it's not what I was kind of expecting it to look like from the outside, but I'll give you a little look. This might actually be it, but we're following sands now to get to the ground, I think. I mean, is that it? Is that it? I don't bloody know. I do actually think that this is it. So I've been walking around something. God knows what I've been walking around. I've tried to get in, but this is it. This is it, I think. I just have no idea why it looks so like it's getting knocked down but we're gonna try and find a way to way to it hang on it is getting knocked down in it this my mind is blown look staircases don't lead to anywhere do they after realizing that you can get nowhere near it because it's a complete building site i thought i'd take a look what is going on and apparently the home of Barcelona since 1957 is being demolished. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been renamed um, the Spotify Camp Nou because it's been uh, demolished and, and rebuilt as a totally different ground. So I thought to myself, well, if it's been demolished in football season, where are they playing? Turns out they're playing at somewhere called the Stadio Olimpico, which is really, really close to the cable cars that were on, or cable cars that were on yesterday. At least I can say that I was here during the demolition of uh, the Camp Nou. But yeah, I can't believe this is the first I've actually heard of it. But we've got some time. So instead, we're gonna go to the Stadio Olimpico and see if uh, see if we can get close to where they're playing the home grounds now because I can't believe I haven't even run past that considering I've been around that area quite a lot but this is the last you'll see of the old Camp Nou so we'll have a little zoom in and you can all see your goodbyes I'm sure it's it's breaking all your hearts as much as it is man As always, when we're on our travels, we always get something to remember where we've been. Last time we got the girls a little Alborg t-shirt, which when they've grown out of, I uh, intend to pinch. And this time round, the girls requested sweeties, which is fine and it's nice and easy, but I still needed to get something. So we've gone um, and we've got a little a little key uh, keychain to remember Barcelona by. It's something you don't see in England. So everywhere in Barcelona, there's these water dispenser type things. So you see people filling them up. So you just press that button and you get your fresh water. But not many people are, are near them at the minute because I assume the fall when it's hot and everyone's gasping. And apparently this weather to Spaniards is not hot because everyone's roaming round with hats, gloves, scarves. It's unbelievable. And then there's me, the true Brit. I want to take my top off. We have made it to the Stadio Olimpica. Um, definitely looks more stunning than the half demolished camp no now this was built for the olympic games in barcelona and since then 
It takes over lots of sporting events, music acts, and most recently, the home ground of Barcelona, temporarily. So we're going to have a little walk around this and see if we can see any green, green grass on the pitch. Green, green grass, blue, blue skies. I've just spotted a view and it might make you cry. Let's go. I can just imagine this on a game day, all, all this massive area just flooded in red and blue stripes. I bet the atmosphere is insane. Do you know what? One of my, something that's been on my bucket list for a very, very long time is to go to a different country, something like Barcelona, um, and watch an elite level football match just to experience it in another country because I've been to football grounds all around the UK and um, yeah that's definitely on the list so maybe with this series that is something that we can tie in but you can see it's all gated off it's not like in England where you can like literally walk right up to the grounds I guess you can get to this one a lot closer but in England, you can see the pitch and stuff through certain parts, whereas this is a lot more secure. Enough about football now. I've probably bored you to tears, but it's a massive part of me. So you've got to just accept that part of me as well. Now, my lips are cracking because I haven't drank or ate. And I think it's about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So I'm going to go grab some food before I think about jumping in an Uber and heading back to the airport. So after going to show you that stadium, I've completely got lost and ended up somewhere in the mountains somewhere. I can't find any restaurants or bars or anything. But I have just come across a load of chickens. Watch. Which obviously aren't keen on sticking around and chatting to me because they've all, they've all, cl they've all clucked off. <laughs> I literally have no idea where I am or where I'm even going. I've just, at one minute I was near like all the centre of Barcelona and next minute I'm just in this random place. But it's because I clicked on my map, the near, where's the nearest restaurant? And it took me to a place where there wasn't a restaurant. So now I'm just walking in the direction of the airport. So I know that I'm getting closer to where I actually need to be. What is that? It's like um, Teletubby's house. You joking? This one, this one's closed as well. And now, oh, please tell me no. Oh, the best be away. Oh, thank God. I thought I was at a dead end. And I was thinking I was going to have to climb them big hills again. Oh, I found loads of, loads of paddle carts though. I have come to a dead end. I got right to the very bottom and there's nowhere to go. So all them hills that I've just walked down, I'm going to have to climb right back up. And I have no idea where I'm actually even heading. I just, all I want is a bit of drink and food. I can't believe I've ended up in this, in this state. The closest place I can see, that is, um, looks like it's around shops or anything. It's 20 minutes walk away. So we're just going to have to get on with it. After I've been here and it, getting in an Uber, and that's it. I've seen enough of Barcelona. Just need to get in bed now. Oh, I'm back on ground level. And you know what? I don't think I'd, I've ever been more relieved to see cars and buildings and people. <sighs> this is the place we've landed at. And to be fair, the food looks amazing. I want to go for the cheese steak, but I think this is a picture of it. It's got some green in there. Hola, Hola uh, uh, cheese steak. Okay, uh, one second, please. Uh, I need to comment first. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you want the cheese stick? Cheese stick. Uh, cheese stick. With no um, the green. No pepper. No okay. peppers or any, or onions or anything. Oh, okay. No, none of that. Onions and no pepper. What okay. el what else is in there? Uh, potatoes. Do you, uh, how do you want your your potatoes? Uh, French fries, rustic or uh, potatoes? Fr French fries, French please. Fries? Okay. Um, and then just a Coca Cola with that, please. Coca Cola Zero or normal? Oh no, normal, full fat. Okay. Yeah. OG Coca-Cola and cheese stick. Yeah, beautiful, thank you. He was, say that, he was nice and easy. He spoke brilliant English, so happy days. I just pointed that at the green thing. None of that. It was a pepper, didn't have a clue. Glass is a bit ditzy. Only watermarks though, so we can live with it. Right, I can't wait any longer. Christ on a bike, check this bad boy out. Look at this, oh yes. Now that's what we're talking about. There's a pot of, I don't know if that's gravy or what that is. Oh, that's amazing, just what the doctor ordered. We're gonna try, see if, is that gravy? Let's see. Oh, I don't know what it is, it's cold. It's like a, I don't know, it's a really weird, I like it, kind of. Uh, it's like a. It's like a re a really thin like sauce that's cold, but it's it's got a bit of spice in it. I've poured it all over my chips and all over my uh, big wets anyway. Time to dig in. Mm. That is insane. And just like that, letter B is complete. B for Barcelona. Exploring the alphabet. My friend, Nakwesh, has come to pick me up. And we're going to head to the airport now. Hello, Nakwesh. Hello, Joel. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Not bad. Thank you. Um, we are going Terminal 2? Terminal 2. Yeah, that is fantastic. This trip was quite a lot cheaper than letter A. So, in spending money in total, I spent £243.72. The flights was £38. The insurance was £5.34. The Airbnb for two nights plus the Airbnb fees was £74.33. The parking um, at Birmingham Airport was £57.99, making that a grand total of £419.38. So, with that said and done, I'd say that is money well spent. It's nice that we've knocked money off the last trip hopefully on the next one we can knock a bit more off and a bit more off and a bit more off and then by the time we get to letter z hopefully it'll be about a tenner and we'll be traveling professionals i will see you back in birmingham or back in birmingham and there's one last thing that we need to do find that croc find that croc do you have a lost property at all Oh, it'll be closed. All oh, right, no worries then. I'll just leave it. Even though we're going with, going home with no croc, we're going home a letter closer to um, achieving our goal. 24 more letters of the alphabet to go. And you know how it goes. Please come back for more, because there's plenty more letters to explore. Thank you for watching.